Hey everyone, there's been an exciting new update for Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, as several new track pieces have been added to the game. Now, uh, before you get too excited, um, these new track pieces are only visible on the single rail coaster, and uh, some of them are also only visible on the hybrid coaster. And the reason that these track pieces uh, have only uh, been made visible for these coasters is because uh, yeah, these uh, track pieces required new uh, sprites for the track and for the trains to be able to traverse them. And yeah, generating new sprites for uh, existing uh, train models is really difficult if you don't have the 3D models that were used to generate these track pieces and the trains. So yeah, for uh, existing tracks and uh, trains this is really difficult to do, so they have not been added for existing uh, tracks. But they have been added for the single rail coaster and the hybrid coaster. So now you know why it's only for these tracks. Um, maybe in the future someone will be able to generate these uh, new track pieces for existing tracks and uh, sprites for the trains as well. But um, yeah, it doesn't look likely that this will happen in the near future. Anyway, um, let's do a quick overview of the track pieces that have been added uh, in the game. Let's uh, start with the hybrid coaster. Um, so we already had the barrel roll. Let me uh, just start uh, building a hybrid coaster here. So we already had the, the other way around. We already had the barrel roll, of course. So often this was used uh, if someone wanted to recreate a zero G roll in a coaster. As you can see over here, this is uh, how it would then usually be made. As you can see, it's. Uh, uh, very drawn out and uh, in my opinion it doesn't look very uh, nice but um, yeah right now um, there's actually two new options to make a zero g roll so uh, you can do a, a normal zero g roll so to do that you start off by going into a slope and then here under special you can now see zero g roll so basically it's like a barrel roll but one that uh, starts on a slope and over here it's level again so here you can uh, uh, finish it off with uh, any other inverted track piece. Uh, you can uh, continue on with a barrel roll if you want, or you can simply uh, continue on the zero G roll. Yeah, I think this is a really cool new uh, track piece, and uh, yeah, this will uh, definitely uh, be a popular inversion uh, on my uh, hybrid coaster layout. I think this is a really useful uh, uh, yeah roll <laughs> element to have for uh, shallow uh, hills. Now, uh, if you want a bigger zero G roll, um, then there's also now the large zero uh, G roll. You can actually see it over here. So this is how we used to make it with this barrel on top. And now um, if you start a steep slope, you can actually continue on. Uh, yeah, you can actually finish the, s the steep slope with a roll. Um, so let's uh, just place a track piece here and we go uh, steep. Now you can see under special, uh, it allows us to select the large zero G roll. And you can choose where you want to go to the left or to the right. Let's go to the left. And uh, as you can see, uh, we're now upside down over here. And now if we want, we can uh, uh, continue on the large zero G roll. Or we can do a normal zero G roll or a quarter loop. Uh, yeah, you can just uh, string your uh, inversions uh, like this. But uh, for now, let's just uh, continue this element with the large zero G roll to the left. And now we are uh, on a steep trajectory down again. So here we could simply uh, finish the slope like that. So yeah, um, these are, I think these are really cool uh, elements. And uh, the hybrid coaster train has now also been modified. So it actually has sprites uh, to be able to use these uh, rolls. All right, um, the single rail coaster actually got uh, more elements than this. So uh, over here, you can uh, see the same elements uh, we used here. So um, this is the existing barrel roll that was already there for the hybrid for the single rail coaster. This is the uh, normal zero G roll. And here you can see the large zero G roll. And for comparison, this is how a zero G roll would have looked uh, before this update if you make it with a barrel roll. And then this uh, trajectory is, all, of course, uh, much uh, nicer to do. All right, uh, that's not the only thing that was added. Uh, it's not just zero G rolls. 
Uh, you can already see it over here. Here you can see the normal uh, corkscrew. And now we have we actually also have the opportunity to make a large half corkscrew. So kind of uh, basically it's just like the element from Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. It's a it's a corkscrew, but instead of just uh, being two tiles uh, wide and long, it's actually three tiles wide and long. So yeah, a really cool new element, and uh, yeah, you can actually uh, use it uh, nicely in uh, in. Uh, Go barrels, for example, or uh, yeah, I think in general these large corkscrews just look much nicer than uh, the original uh, smaller ones. And for sure, I think these will come in handy in uh, many uh, single rail coaster layouts. All right, and then finally, um, another element has been added. This is the medium half loop. Or uh, where where do we see it? Uh, yeah, the medium half loop. So. Uh, yeah, here you can see the normal half loop. It's actually uh, it's uh, quite small, and it uh, uh, continues the track straight above where you started. And now actually also the medium half loop has hard has, has started, and just like the large half loop, uh, it actually goes in uh, in a direction either to the left or to the right. So if I build this track piece like this, we go up like this, and now we can choose from the half loop, the large half loop. You probably already know it, and now we just. Now we also have the medium half loop, which you can see here. And there we go. We finished off like any uh, regular uh, loop. And it's actually a bit taller than the normal vertical loop. Now, this is a little bit difficult to see since the single rail coaster doesn't get the vertical loop uh, element. But yeah, I think it's a really cool uh, new uh, element. And yeah, here, here you can see it in uh, comparison to the, to the large half loop. You can probably also compare the height of the uh, and uh, small half loop. Um, I already showed it a bit here. So here you can see a co-barrel that has been made with the medium half loop element, then a large corkscrew, another large corkscrew, and the medium half loop element again. Now um, here you can also see another element that I made with these new track pieces. Here's a large uh, zero G roll. Uh, followed by a medium half loop and that way you can uh, make a really cool uh, looking uh, inversions This kind of looks like a, uh, Like an Immelman or a dive loop. I guess you can uh, make nicer versions of uh, this element uh, using this or perhaps you could use a large uh, um, Corkscrew here instead, but yeah, I think these uh, new elements uh, add a really uh, yeah, add some really nice uh, variety to the stuff you can do and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see all the layouts uh, you guys are going to make with these uh, new elements. Alright, that was it for this video. I uh, hope it's useful for you. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel and would make me really happy. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.